So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. And the ending... absolutely transformative. I am... humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just happened? Was that real? Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain. Sir, I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, come I say! on! Uh, mm. As wicked do, as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave! Got by the devil himself, filth as thou art, I have lodged thee in mine own cell, till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel, and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you! Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is... super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. <laughs> I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you? His tears run down his beard, like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands with the help of your good hands. Wasn't that fun? You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead.
God, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. <laughs> He was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You know, you, like, seriously, I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but... Like... Eventually. Let's go... Now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. I'm the only one my mom has left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. How far could we possibly get without a car? I thought you were fixing that truck in the junkyard. I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Yeah, I can. That's hot. In other words, we've got transportation covered. <sighs> Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night, 
You and me on the Santa Monica Pier, gorging on food truck food, smoking up, looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Give me something I can hold. Something solid that'll remind me what you promised. Okay. Like what? How about your bracelet? This bracelet? Yeah. I haven't taken it off. Ever. My dad said I wore it home from the hospital, if you can believe that. I don't know why, but... It's always reminded me that the world is a lot bigger than Arcadia Bay. You better keep it. It sounds really important to you. It is. Which is why, of course, I'm going to give it to you. <sighs> okay. I need your help untying this. I will leave you a little more now. Only a little, huh? What if I said let's leave tonight? Uh, really? What is this? It's obviously a sign! So? What do you say? Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. Fuck yes. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our surprise star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? 
Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh, did you have other dinner plans? Dinner plans? <laughs> I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to m make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time with the Ambers. What could possibly go wrong? Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes, if you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe. You've set the table without ruining someone's marriage. No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. It's off to the table with you. Yes, Chloe? Plates, check. Anything else? Actually, 
Could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Besides all my bad behavior rubbing off on her, you mean? Hmm. Another joke. You tell me. It seemed like you and Wells were happy to believe that this morning. Rachel is her own person. She's responsible for her actions. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but... Perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. Glasses. Damn, the embers are fancy as shit. Uh, it's the triangle shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I think. Time to- Light some candles and less this joint up a bit. <laughs> Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Got it. Dinner will be ready in just a moment. Did you light the candles? The Amber family and fire. 
What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Not since this morning. Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry. No, that's cool. <sighs> We're not. What about that fire? Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast, I've never heard of anything like it. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. It's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. Arson? Why would anyone do that? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that our home is always open to you. Cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's not merely a gift. It is a responsibility. As such, those we love must be cared for and never, ever taken for granted. Uh, yeah, that's super true. And also remember, Rachel, that even when shit's like the lamest ever, you can always run away from whatever's bothering you, as long as you just keep calm. An interesting philosophy, Chloe. Yes, indeed. Not one that I would endorse, however. I favor confronting my problems head on. But to each their own, I suppose. Oh, fucking blow me. Rachel! Ah, crap. I I'm so clumsy. Uh, Rachel, can you come help me find another Stop fork? It. Chloe. I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating piece of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel? Honey, whatever you saw or think you saw... I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. That's enough, James. I will not have you continue to speak to her like this.
competition for one fucking minute! Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. That was your mother.